hands together to God big hands. Amen. We have a great word for you today. I mean, not because of me speaking it, because God gave it to us. Somebody say amen. amen. And we're talking about today, amen, handling toxic people. Amen. Handling toxic people. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And also, too, praise God, amen, that, that this lesson, amen, is going to show you from the word of God how Jesus dealt with the Pharisees in his day. And we're also going to see how these spirits, amen, have, uh, are still active today. Amen. Uh -huh. Somebody say amen. Yeah, yeah. And also we're going to see, and I tell you all the time, that when you see a principle in the Bible that has worked for someone else, why not use it? Amen. At the end of this lesson today, when you see how Jesus handled these toxic people, amen, you ought to take this, amen, and you ought to start praying and asking God, amen, Lord, help me. And Jesus, amen, dealt with these toxic people. Help me deal with them. Oh my God. Let me take these principles and let me pray these principles. So I say amen. amen. Let me pray these principles. Amen. Let me pray what God done. Amen. Because if it worked for him, it'll work for you. Amen. Somebody give God a hand for that. Now, we have a lot here to cover, amen, so I'm not going to wait for you, amen, take all your notes, so I want to warn you now, if you want the PowerPoint slides, give me your email, and I will send it to you, so I say amen, amen. praise the Lord, amen, pastor, I already sent it to you, amen, so if you don't have uh, my email, or if you want to get in contact with Pastor John Scott Harris, ask her, she'll send it to you and forward it to you, right, that you might study this lesson, amen, today we're talking about, amen, uh, praise God, how to handle toxic people. Uh, next week we'll talk about uh, how to handle toxic family members, and then after that we're going to talk about how to handle uh, toxic uh, 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 relationship in, in, the, in the workplace. Amen. Say amen. amen. Some of us got some got some jobs that amen that we are that we asking God, Lord, please do something. Yes, Lord. Move me, move him, do destroy. <laughs> Lord, take them out. You have to. Yes. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. So if you don't do something, Lord, God help me. I got to pray fast every day. Yes, yes. So there's some folk out there. What the, what the thing was singing? Sing? I'll take you there. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. I see some people laughing at me. There are some people that will take you there. Yes, Lord. Amen. And you need the Holy Ghost, Jesus, the Word. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Amen. Paul, amen. Now, Peter, somebody say amen. amen. You need about everybody to come down and walk with you. What does that song say? Walk with walk me, Lord. Me, Lord. <laughs> While I'm on this what? Tedious journey. journey. Somebody say amen. amen. So we're going to be talking about that in the next few weeks, amen. And you want to see now the need why I've been trying to uh, share with some of y'all some things you've got to fast and pray about. Uh -huh. yes. These are some old spirits. Somebody say amen. Yes. They've been around for a long time. And if they will try Jesus. Come on, Apostle. Just try it. Yes. Come on now. Amen. If they will try Jesus, they're going to try you. Yes. yes. Somebody say amen. Amen. So let's get ready to this thing now, right? Remember, we got a lot of stuff to cover. So I'm going to be a very brief, amen, and very quick and try to get through this. So I need you, amen, to push me. Somebody say amen. amen. I need you to push me and say, to go ahead, I'm an apostle, because I don't want to lean on, amen, on the subject matter, because I want to cover everything. Remember, these are recorded. Amen. And they are on YouTube. And all you got to do is go get on the internet, go to YouTube, yes. and type in Pure Gospel Community Church TV. Yes. And amen. by tonight, amen, you can watch these services, take your notes, get your points, and better than that, amen, if you want to, the whole message, amen, the whole PowerPoint message, praise God, we will send you, I will send you, amen, praise God, the PowerPoint, or Pastor amen. Jones. We will send it to you that you might study, read over again, and learn to pray these concepts. Yes, Why amen. waste your time praying these long, pitiful, tired prayers? Somebody say amen. Amen. The God is going, I, I, I ain't got time for that. You need to learn how to pray the word of God. Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. You know how to pray and confess the word of God. Yes. It works. Amen. He will honor his word. 
Somebody say amen. Amen. All right, let's get into this now. Amen. Uh, when the Bible talks about toxic people, it used the word avoid, stay away from, shun, separate, keep away from. It used this term that basically says separate yourself from them. Yes. yes. Get away from them. Uh -huh. Get them out your face. Get them out your house. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> Tell them take your name out. Take my name out your mouth. Yes. Oh, that's what I'm uh -huh. saying now. Amen. Talk to people now. Oh, you don't have to have anybody in your life bent on hurting you that way. Somebody say amen. amen. The Bible talks about a lot of different kinds of talks to people. One of them is in uh, 2 Timothy, the second, the second verse says, it says that stay clear of pious talk that's only talk. Mm -hmm. This is a religious toxic person that talk a good talk. Uh -huh. They talk about God. Uh -huh. They may, they may say praise the Lord. They might even say amen. Uh -huh. But they really, but they're not really living anything. Right. Say that now. Amen. Uh, that old song says talking loud and what? Ain't saying nothing. Ain't saying nothing. Ain't nothing. And we all the time, Pastor Jones, I talk about this all the time. Many people in the church, if they let that character catch up with their words, uh -huh. they can be giants. Yes. They use the great words. But sometimes, uh, as a model, some folk character is so jacked up. Amen. I don't care how they come to the church and shout and dance and run and fall out. Amen. So I say amen. amen. They can say amen, jump up, holler, and most times they're the first one to shout. Yeah. <laughs> amen. amen. But really, they can't live what they say. Amen. Even preachers. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Even preachers, some of them can preach a socks off, but can't live a lick. Paul said, Paul said, like, like an athlete, Paul said, I discipline my body. Paul said, when I preach to others, Paul said, I discipline. He said, in words, over, I whoop my body. I make it get in line. Because Paul said, I want to preach to you. You go to heaven, and I'm going to hell. Amen. Paul said, oh, no, 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 no. And Paul said, I'm not going to sit up here and preach to you. You get delivered. You free. And then I'm bound. Is that all right? Uh-huh. Now, it says that stay clear of pious talk. That's the only talk. If words are not backed up by a godly life, they are killing as poison in the soul. It is poisonous. But someone is only talking about God and not living that life, uh -huh. amen, it's just like something getting backed up. Uh-huh. So I say amen. amen. Just like your pipes getting backed up in your house, uh -huh. amen, you flush them, flush it, it ain't going nowhere. Uh -huh. Am I telling the truth? Amen. When that happens, what do you start with? You, go, you get an action real quick, don't you? Right. Yeah. Get that plug to get something, call them folks. Somebody say amen. 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 But again, it's important because it's, it, it's toxic. When people talk the talk of religion, but they are not really committed to God. Amen. amen. Now, there are two types of people that Jesus dealt with back then. Now, one was uh, called the Sadducees. Now, what they did, they didn't believe in the resurrection, uh. they didn't believe in heaven. And they didn't believe in the soul. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Yeah. And then, but what we're talking about today, the group that we're called, the group that's called the Pharisees, their own job is to go around and make rules and regulations for everyone else, and they will be the policemen. Uh -huh. Come on now. That's made for some people in the church all the day. Well, they are policemen. They make rules for you to follow. Yes. They establish revelation for Beautiful. you, yes. but they don't follow themselves. Amen. But they'll point out real quick, Pastor Jones, where you missed the mark. Yes. Amen. And today, in the day church, we have some modern day Pharisees in the church today. <coughs> they got rules and regulations that they establish. And they the only one that can be the policeman. Oh. Somebody say amen. amen. And they only watching you. Okay. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. They want to make sure you don't break the rules. Yes. You don't fall short of the revelation. Uh -huh. Somebody say amen. 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 That's all they do, praise God. Now they don't live nothing, but they show sure watching you. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, Jesus used the term for the Pharisees like they uh, like like they are hypocrites. They are blind guides. Yeah. They are vipers. Yeah. They, are, they, they are whitewashed graves. Yeah. They are poisonous snakes. Wow. Now notice here what Jesus, Jesus didn't play with people like that. He said, he said, some people, some people, uh, some tell you can call them 
they said they are vipers. A viper, amen, is like a, a, a cobra. They are a Pacific type snake. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Are y'all hearing me? Uh-huh. Yes. And you can call them by the name. Yeah. Now, but come on now. Uh-huh. And some of them just part of the snakes. Yeah. You don't know what they are, but you know they're uh-huh. deadly. Yeah. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Am I remember anybody? Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. You don't know what to call me. I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> Every time they come around me, they start stuff and they start up stuff and they all got something to say. Yeah. You don't know what to call them, but you know they're possible. Yes. <laughs> now, some of them, uh, if you do call them, right there, where they are? That girl right there? That girl over there? That's a girl. <laughs> uh-huh. Somebody say amen. amen. You know exactly what they are. Amen. amen. Uh, they are whitewashed graves. Uh. Did not Jesus when he rose again? He had the victory over the grave and death. Yes. And some folks, amen, all they have done, they mean they are whitened it out, picked it out, but they still a the grave. Uh. Amen. 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 He warned the Pharisees that they needed to change, but he warned everyone else and said, you need to stay away from them. That's why the Bible said, what, what fellowship has light but darkness? No. How can two walk together be in agreement? Amen. 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 Luke 11, 1 says, be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees. Uh-huh. Now, yeast in the Bible always represents evil. Yes. Are you listening? Uh-huh. He just said a little bit of yeast can get in a leaven, a whole batch of bread. Yes, a little bit of yeast, a little bit of, a little bit of the evil and wickedness yes. of Pharisees can get in a place uh-huh. and mess up everything. Yes. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. There's a little bit of Pharisees, a little bit of toxic religion in your life can ruin the whole batch. Yes. It can mess up your life, your attitude, friendship, and your marriage. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. How many know somebody to look at me? How many y'all know somebody, amen? Everything they do messed up. It, it's just jacked up. I don't care what they do. It just amen. jacked up. Amen. Amen. It all takes is a little bit. That's why we. That's why God trying to warn you today. Says all it takes is a little bit. Come on. Of the yeast of the Pharisees, of those back in that day, all it takes a little bit of that spirit. Uh huh. That's the heat Is the heat on? Uh huh. I feel heat right through here. Hey, check the air conditioning, please. Amen. I know we on video, but I feel some heat. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. All right, first the ten. Now let, let's do it quickly, Amen. Y'all, y'all praying for me? It just, it just work on that condition. That's okay. Y'all pulling up here. It's amen. Just, that's all. Amen. I'm just wondering where this heat coming from. That's all. Amen. It could be just me. I don't know. Amen. First, now let's, let's look at the ten traits of a toxic faith. Amen. These are all illustrated in the lives of the Pharisees. These ten traits that I'm talking about now, this is nothing new. Somebody say nothing new. Nothing new. Amen. These traits that we're going to show you here, real quickly, praise God. Amen. These are old spirits. Oh, amen. Y'all, y'all not going to push me. I'm going to make me work on y'all now. Come on, now. Y'all push me. Y'all say amen like you got it. You understand this. This is, I want to 